Hi guys, so in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to get that really popular painterly effect in your photos. It's really very easy and quick to do. It's something I've started doing fairly recently and I use it in every single photo now. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my channel. I'll be sharing more tips on editing and once we can get out shooting, I'll be sharing photo shoot tips too. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to create a blank layer. So we're going to click on this button here and add a layer. You need to have a soft brush, so make sure there's no hardness at all. Now what we need to do is choose a mid-tone in the skin. We can do that by clicking Option or Alt and clicking on the mid-tone in the skin. That will take a colour sample. Make sure your opacity of your brush is very low, I'd say around 9 or 10 percent. And now all we're going to do is just paint over the skin area. To keep your colour consistent, make sure you try to do one layer in one go because if you add more than one layer, it will build up the opacity of the layer. So I'm going to add some extra layers deliberately there to bring up that shadow further. As you can see, I'm not being very accurate, I'm not zooming in. It's such a subtle effect. You don't need to be too neat with it. But when we do the before and after, you'll really see the difference. If you do go over a part that you don't want to, it's really easy to fix. Just add a mask, make sure you're painting with a black brush, bring your opacity right back up to 100%, otherwise it won't do very much and then just paint over the area where you made your mistake and that will block out your change. So before and after. So it's a subtle change but it does make a big difference. If it's too strong you can bring your opacity down. If it's not strong enough you can duplicate your layer and then play with the opacity of the second layer. So now let's add another layer and let's call this dress. So we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did before. We're going to bring our opacity of our brush right down to around 9 or 10 percent and we're going to take a colour sample of the dress. So choose a mid-tone in the dress, click Alt or Option and take your mid-tone. Then we're going to paint over the dress as we did before at a low opacity. You can build this up as much as you want so if you've got darker areas that you want to bring up more add a few layers. It's so easy. Here I've got another colour in the dress, so I'm going to take another colour sample here and paint over the pink area. I'm going to avoid painting over the sequins because I don't want to tint those creamy sequins pink. So now that's before and after. And if you want to make the effect stronger, just duplicate your layer. So there, that gives a really strong effect. Let's put those two in a group, before and after. So that's a little bit strong for me. I'm going to bring my opacity down. But you can do it to your taste as you wish. Let's create another layer. First, let's just rename that group dress so I don't get confused. Now we're working on the hair. So again, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Take a mid-tone in the hair low opacity brush and just paint over the hair. That top area is quite dark so I'm going to build a couple of layers up there to bring that to bring that up. So before and after, before and after. Again if it's too strong bring your opacity down. And finally, we're going to do the background and then we're done. 
So I'm going to take a sample of that greenish area, again a mid-tone in the background. You could use what colour you like and we're just going to paint over the background. If I've got areas that are very dark, I'm going to build up my layers a couple of times. If you want to, you can build up the opacity of your brush, so if you'd prefer to do it that way, you can do. So now, if we put all of those in a group, I hope you'll see the effect. So let's rename that Painterly Lift. And before. And after. So it's a subtle effect, but it builds up and it really does create a difference in your images. In fact, I think that's too strong for me. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. If you do it on your own image, you'll really see the effect. I'm not sure how well it will translate across your television or your computer. And if you do it on your own image, you'll really, really see a difference. So I hope that was helpful, guys. That's how to get a painterly effect in your image. It really makes them dreamy and fairy tale like You can build it up as much or as little as you want, so it's really versatile and it's so quick and easy. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my channel. I'll share more editing and Photoshop tips, and hopefully soon we can get out and actually shoot and do behind the scenes footage and some tips on photo shoots. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please give me a like really helps me with the algorithm and I really appreciate it. And do let me know in the comments if you want to see anything specific on my channel, it's really helpful to have your feedback. Thanks very much for watching, bye bye.